Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video we're going to be implementing Steam into our games using the Heathen Steamworks Complete Package. Now just for your information, this works for both Unity and Unreal. Now I already have a video on using Heathens with the free version that they have to set up a Steam lobby system, but this is a little bit different because their Steamworks Complete Package is way larger. Normally when you work with Steam, you would work with Steamworks.net or Facepunch, which are API wrappers for Steam, which that's very helpful, but Steamworks Complete by Heathens really integrate as a whole toolkit on top of Steam, which means they have a bunch of implementations, data layers, and pre-made components to make setting up Steam really, really painless. And they also have a great knowledge base. Now, this is my preferred method of integrating Steam, and the one that I use onto all of my games, as it's super easy to work with compared to a regular Steamworks wrapper. Now, it is important for me to mention that this video is sponsored by Heathens. Now, let's get right into it. There are two methods of integrating Heathens into Unity. There is an installation guide right here. This is how you would do it with the GitHub method. Now, I'm not a sponsor on GitHub because I have the second alternative method, but I used to be a sponsor here. It's a, it's $15 monthly, which is cheaper than just buying it straight up. They have installation instructions for you to follow directly, but all you really have to do is the same as in my first video about being free. You go to the package manager, you go up here and you add a package from Git and they will have a URL for you to just paste in here and it'll start installing Steamworks. Now the second method is by owning it as an asset on the asset store, which is what I have right here. Right now you can see as I'm recording this, it's on sale 50% off. I can just click open Unity, go in here, it'll open it up and I can download and install it. So let me just import that, say import. And now it'll say that you have to install the system core and the steamworks.net, which you'll just click install to. Same thing will happen when you install it using Git. And here we go. Now we have Steamworks implemented. It was as easy as that. Now. The next thing that we want to do in order to actually start initializing Steam is let me just call this one, for example, Steamworks, a new game object here. And on that, we just want what's called the Steamworks behavior, like that. Now you can see you'll need some settings. So I can just right click here, create, go to Steamworks and settings. And I can just call this Steamworks settings. And it needs an application ID. Now you'll get this from your Steamworks dashboard, but in the case of testing, you can always go with 480. I can now drag and drop the Steamworks settings into the settings here. I can start up Steam or Unity. And here we go. You can see it loaded the local user of PUBG. That's my Steam that's open here. And you can see now I'm, I've just launched into the game called Space War. And it's really as easy as that. With just this setup, I've now gotten Steam initialized and we are actually integrated with Unity directly into Steam. Now they have a whole bunch of pre-made components, as I mentioned. If I just go here to add components and I just search for Heath or Heathens, you can search for whichever. And you can see there's a whole bunch of pre-made components that you can just drag and drop straight in. They also in the heathens in here have a bunch of prefabs that you can already use you can see some party lobby setup some friend profile setup friend names you see we need the tmp intentions you can see there's a friend list some clan setups that's a whole bunch of stuff that's already pre-set up for you which is really really great they also have this whole samples folder which is full of examples of utilizing this, which for example, is your workshop integration, your lobby setup, the how you work with user data, stats and achievements, leaderboards. They've really made it super easy to integrate pretty much all the Steam straight in with Unity, which is a mess otherwise. So this toolkit is absolutely invaluable to me. Ethan's also has a great Discord community that's very active, where there's also loads of very quick support, as well as they have some awesome documentation on kb.heathen.group. Where you can see even there's a whole steam segment where you can read the quick start guide achievements you can even get started with multiplayer in here and everything is really explained very in depth it's probably the best documentation i've ever seen so i'd very much urge you to go give that a look and there'll be a link for both of these in the description as well so yeah i hope you found this helpful it was just a brief little introduction and there will be more steamworks videos coming out so stay tuned for those and i just hope that you have a wonderful day